is, I'd say, very favorable. Alrighty. The question for mind game is, is how effectively can he keep uh, Matt Coma out? Right. With a bad start there, though. He's already let her in, and he's gonna have really big problems just keeping her off. Right again, and you explained to me yesterday how Hilda's defense is potentially as bad as it seems because she does have some useful options like built into, you know, the way her anti airs work and sort of a throw away. Yeah, but it's kind of hard. Her 2C isn't that fast. She has, like, kind of the generic options everyone else does, but she doesn't have a reversal. Her A buttons are really slow. And Lene can just dodge her projectiles and punish a neutral, similar to how we saw that round go down. You need to move my You need to You need to be able to move yourself. Sorry about that. Just a uh, commentator of Dustin and Mike. Alright, we should be good now, right? Yeah. Okay. You gotta be able to heal yourself, clearly. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, nice Kuga. Get some uh, pressure shakings there. Looks like Mind Game is resorting to trying to jump out. Oh wow, he actually gets hit by that counter hit. It's a pretty slow overhead because it can only come off of that particular starter. It's the second hit of a 5C. Right. Matt right. just controlling the area right in front of her with uh, Kuga's and her normals. Oh, nice throw attack. Oh, but no. he tries to push a button. Matt Koma disrespects with uh, TK Kuga. Right, Even though he was at minus. In that situation, Koma just was completely fine with spending all of his resources. He had the Vorpal, he just went straight in because he really he couldn't get a good feel on where the pressure was coming from, you know? He tried to push buttons, got counter hit, you know, had the good throw attack, but it didn't really get him anywhere. Well the what what uh, Mind Game did pro throw attack it makes total sense. He's he's at advantage, he pushed a button, tried to start his own pressure, right. maybe get something going, but Matt Koma just responded with a hard option that right. stuffed his I believe that was five B. Oh, dive kick. And yeah, we're back in the corner with Lene. Oh, looks like Matt chose to back off there. That's kind of weird. He really had her in a superior position. And he's got very good positioning with those air projectiles now. Uh, gets the confirm off that uh, fireball. And gets the knockdown. What is Matt coming here for? She goes for more stagger pressure. He uses the EX Kuga to set up that um, empty, throw, empty jump low mix up. Oh no. That wasn't a cross up, it was just mind game, side to push a button. Right. Because it was like an awkward situation, but uh, Koma hit him with a, the cross up box, and I believe the jumpy. Koma on match point. Mind game yeah. unable, and there we go, there was that roll. He's done that a couple times this match so far. Yeah. And TK Kuga actually just really seems to be really oppressive in this matchup. Yeah, oh, this is uh -oh. Gonna be, oh, he doesn't go for the guard break. Kind of weird. I thought he could, uh, like, 5B or something. Get right. a pickup off up. Looks like he just chose to go into the pressure. And then he's ripping the reward for it. Oh, no. Oh, I think my game was going for wake-up chain shift there. Yeah, that was a pretty straightforward game. Yeah, like, very convincing. Hilda just has a lot of problems with Lenny. That's the right. truth of it. And looks like we have our other loser matchup. Uh, another Lene, uh, level 5 chan, I believe he hails from Montreal. Mm -hmm. And a uh, friend of mine, Maryland's own Rover Ruckus. Uh, he'll be playing Merkava. Now, what do you think? What do you think of this matchup in particular? I mean, Merkava, obviously, very strong character. He d he's also one of those, he's like a space control character, but right. he's not projectile based. Right. So he's got his flaily arms, and that gives him this mid mid game bullying is mm -hmm. how I like to put it <laughs> or mid um, mid spacing bullying right. with all of his normals mm -hmm. and y it's really hard for Lenny to respond to that like she doesn't have a, a lot of good answers for that like um, Merkava 2 and 4 A the uh, grabby hand yes. that d that actually catches roll wow alright um, so that becomes a non-viable option in most cases pretty much right and, like, Merkava can just kind of go up there and fly because Lenny's DP isn't that good. Mm -hmm. It's a rough matchup. I don't think it's unwinnable by any means, but it's not as bad as, say, Lene versus Hilda, but 